Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to identify um, our leading coefficient, uh, classify our trinomial, identify our leading coefficient, and our degree. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have our polynomial in descending order, which in this case we do. We have the largest exponent starting first, and then we're going down where you could write in a 1 and an x to the 0. But you can see we go 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So when, since we have that in there, we don't really need to include these x to the 0's and x. But it's nice to understand that they can be represented there. Um, what we have is our, our highest powers, what we call our degree of the monomial. And the largest degree of, uh, of a monomial of all of our polynomials is degree of the polynomial. And the term, the coefficient, including the exponent, is what we call our leading term. So when we're identifying the degree and the leading coefficient, the degree of the polynomial is, again, as I mentioned, that largest power. So I can say the degree is equal to 4, where our leading coefficient is going to be the coefficient of the exponent, which is the largest power, which in this case is equal to 7 halves. Now in classifying, again, we can classify our polynomials in the number of terms as well as the degree. Well, the number of terms, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so basically, we would just say a polynomial with five terms. However, since this is a polynomial that has a degree of 4, we can also classify it as a quartic. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you classify and determine your degree and leading coefficient. Thanks.